This video is going to talk about how do we detect if some data that we've observed has a certain distribution. So the most common distribution that we're going to be interested in is a normal distribution, and that's really the only one I'm going to talk about in this, uh, in this video, but the method itself is more general and could be applied to, um, to compare with any uh, a, a distribution. Okay, so the situation we're going to eventually be in is that we're going to be uh, trying to construct a confidence interval or do a hypothesis test, and that test is going to assume that the observations have come from a normal distribution. And so how do we know whether or not some set of observations are normal? Well, as a starting point, you could look at the histogram and the box plot, and those are, those are really good things to do. Um, I always look at, 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 a, at a box plot and usually a histogram as well. But the, this section is actually going to cover uh, a more sensitive plot for determining whether or not something is normal. This is called the QQ plot, or the quantile-quantile plot. The whole idea is that you estimate the sample quantiles based on the data you have, and you plot those against what are called the theoretical quantiles. So that would be the quantiles from a normal distribution uh, in, in the case of a, um, a, a normal probability plot. All right, so the basic idea is this. If the, um, the observed distribution from your sample increases at the same rate as the theoretical distribution, in, in our case a normal, then the points should all fall in a line. Now if you read the textbook, they give you the exact formulas for this, but uh, j just try to get the basic intuition that if some distribution um, has, a, has a particular shape, then the quantile should increase at the same rate as the theoretical uh, uh, quantiles from the inverse CDF. All right, so, so these, these normal probability plots are very easy to use. You create them, and if, they, uh, if the points fall in a line, you say, well, it looks like my distribution, my observed distribution, is growing at the same rate. If there are systematic deviations from the line, then you conclude that uh, my data is probably not normal. All right, so this is a much more sensitive version uh, of, of a diagnostic than just looking at a histogram or box plot. So uh, just to, to get some um, comfort with this, I went off and I generated 60 points from a normal distribution. So we're going to use the R norm function. This would be a standard normal distribution. I've set my seed if you want to replicate what I've done. To generate a, um, a normal probability plot, a normal quantile-quantile plot, we use QQ norm, and then QQ line superimposes a, um, a, a line for comparison. So if we look at the top QQ plot, this is data that have come from a real normal distribution, and the points roughly fall in a line. Now, don't get too bent out of shape if you have some uh, deviations down here, th th this is just sampling noise, and, and that, that happens with real data. So we would look at this, you know, I've, I've rigged it so that this is really a normal distribution, and um, you know, th so, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Now, this next plot, uh, I've given you the code down here, I've decided to add an outlier. So I added the value 8. And so that value 8, 8 standard deviations out from the mean, is shown up here. And so that outlier shows up very clearly in the QQ plot. So all the other points are, the rest of the distribution is growing at the same rate as a normal curve, and then you've got one point out here that is an outlier. So this could also be used to help you um, see an outlier. Let's sum look at what, what um, bad plots would look like. So let's just start with a right skewed distribution. Uh, a good right skewed distribution is the chi-square distribution. So 
Um, remember the D function with, with, our, with, with our probability uh, distributions gives you the density. So I'm going to just show you what a, a PDF of a chi-square distribution having three degrees of freedom looks like. And so clearly it's uh, very right skewed, can't be less than zero. Chi-squared is actually a, um, a square of a standard normal distribution, so you can never have a negative number when you square when it's something squared. And so it's, it's, it's nice and right skewed and has a mode out here uh, somewhere greater than zero. All right, when I generate a QQ plot, so let's go make 60 observations from this. So I use R chi-square to make random values. So these are the 60 points that I've just created. And in this plot, we clearly see some deviations from the line. This is not following the line, it's following a curve. Um, this is saying uh, our distribution is, is probably, um, uh, it's growing more quickly than the uh, normal probability plot at first, then it slows down. Uh, uh, all right, so, so that, that, that's what's happening, is that this is showing a deviation for normality. Let's look at another uh, example where there's non-normal data. I decided to create a binorm, uh, bivariate normal distribution. So the way I did this is I just took a standard normal and then added um, a normal distribution with a mean of six but also having a standard deviation of one. So we get a nice bimodal distribution. Uh, I just generated a bunch of um, values. I took 100 from the left distribution, 100 from the right distribution. Here's what our QQ plot looks like, and it departs from normality. We would say that there are problems with this. We cannot assume normality. Okay, so that's it for this video to uh, detect normality or actually any um, distribution that you need to check against. We're going to use one of these quantile quantile plots. If the points look like they're on a the line, uh, that, that's um, suggesting that, that the theoretical distribution is plausible. If they deviate from a line as they do here or here, you question it.